Hey, what's up, guys? It's Film Geek here, and uh, this video is coming a little late because I saw this two nights ago. But two nights ago, I watched Happy Feet. Now, damn. Ha! Uh, sorry about that. My uh, little tripod having some issues. I was expecting to love this movie. I loved Wally. Loved Up. Hell, I even loved Chicken Little. So I figured I would love Happy Feet. Guess what? I didn't love Happy Feet. In fact, I thought Happy Feet was kind of crappy. Um, it was crappy feet. Eh? 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 Um, anyway. Um, good points first, as always. The music in this movie is outstanding. The soundtrack and the score are both unbelievably beautiful in this movie. Love it. So much fun. So much emotion. Just great, great, great music. The animation looks pretty darn cool in this movie. Um, it, it's not uh, not the best CGI I've seen, but it definitely ranks up there. Um, it's, it's pretty darn close to being as good uh, CGI as Wally -E was. Um, it's, it's, I like, I like the CGI a lot. I like the music a lot. Then it falls apart. The story is weak. Okay, first off, the story is way, 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 way too preachy. Um, very anti-human, uh, really. It's, uh, definitely pro, um, pro-eco, uh, and negative human. Um, it's just a weak story. There's not much to the story. Um, like the, it tries, it tries to have a deep, passionate economic story while also having a light and airy cinematic romance. I think that the uh, the economic power punching story is way too overpowering and not in a good way, and the romance is. Very light-handed. Too light-handed, in fact. Uh, the friendship that grows between our adult-aged Mumble and our other, like, mini penguin friends. I don't know what kind of penguins they are. I don't really know my uh, my penguin types. Uh, I'm trying to see if it, if it tells on the back here, but I guess it doesn't. Um, what kind of penguins those little ones are, but... Their, their friendship is like, yeah, it's kind of there. Like, I find it a little hard to believe that these penguins are going to be like best buds forever with, with Mumble just because he can dance the first time they see him. You know, it, I don't buy it. Um, their bond seems to be strong for no reason whatsoever. Their bond is even stronger than his bond with the, the girl, he's, uh, Gloria, who is supposed to be like romantically after. Like... Yeah, I didn't believe, I didn't believe the relationship between the guy and the girl penguin, and the the friendship relationship. I believed even less. Um, its attempts at having like community drama failed, in my opinion. Um, there were lots of gaps where not a whole lot of anything was happening other than, hey, here's some kind of cool camera work and, and good CGI. You know, it didn't really do anything to move the story along all that much. It just kind of happened to look cool. Um, I'm thinking primarily, of uh, if you've seen it, there's a scene where uh, Mumble and the short penguins are like kind of like going down like a, uh, a, 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 a slope. I guess, and they're like tubing all around and stuff, which I guess it it moves the story along in that when they finish doing it, they first see a human-made thing. It's the first time it happens in the movie, really. Um, but other than that, it didn't serve a purpose. It was way too long for that tiny little purpose that it that it held. The movie itself, actually, was way too long, in my opinion. It was 108 minutes, which is only an hour and 40 minutes, but this movie felt like it was running pretty darn long, um, which goes to show that the pacing kind of sucked. Um, I didn't like Happy Feet. I, I'll give it 
Credit where credit's due. The music was great. Outstanding, in fact. The CGI, it was really darn good. And, and it was even, I'll even go as far as to say that it was incredibly cute for like the first 20 minutes. Totally cute. But after those 20 minutes, once Mumble is adult-aged, it starts to suck a lot. Um, I didn't like it. I give Happy Feet 2 out of 5. The only reason it's even scoring that high is because the soundtrack was unbelievable. Um, Happy Feet. If you own it already, like I do, I actually borrowed this from my mom. If you already own Happy Feet, obviously you know how it is, unless you haven't watched it yet, in which case just watch it since you already own it. Otherwise, I don't think it's worth your time unless you are, like, unbelievably into penguins.